What's up, guys? We are back from a long hiatus. I think we took like a year off or something like that. Yeah, at least. Maybe, maybe two years. Yeah, COVID's been a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're back. We're gonna do, uh, we're doing a mukbang. Mukbang. We went to uh, Hook and Reel over here in Connecticut. Uh, in Orange, Connecticut, over on Post Road. Hook and Reel is a seafood place. So we got a bunch of seafood. The seafood combo. Inside the bag, we get some, uh, some gloves. gloves. Okay, some gloves, all right. All right, you never know when you need some gloves when you're eating seafood. Pair for you, pair for me. Utensils, some nice sterilely wrapped utensils. And then a bag of seafood. And a bag <laughs> of seafood. And I, uh, look at that. I have to tell you, those shrimp have the head on. Oh, or oh, those are crayfish, oh. sorry. Yeah, look, look at, at that. that. So we got some crawfish, we got some corn. We got some uh, crab legs, shrimp. So are we gonna eat it out of the bag or are we dumping it in the bowl? I think we're going to the, I think we're gonna dump it in another bowl. We're gonna grab another bowl. All right, well that's definitely a big enough bowl. All right, so we're gonna, so we're gonna dump up. this yeah. in over here. Dump this in here. We got spicy Cajun flavored. <laughs> Let's kind of squeeze all that in there. Inside, we get the lobster tail, which we're gonna have to split up. We got some potatoes. We got some shrimp, head off. We got the corn, and then we got some crawfish in there. Oh, my bad. And then we got the crab legs as well. Scallops too. Did we get scallops too? Yep. Scallops are over there in the corner. Oh, there's one. And then we got some scallops. Look at that scallop right there. There you go. All right, let's dig in. Time to eat. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna grab a knife for the. Uh, let's do gloves. How many gloves you got over there? You got two. That's it. You got one. I got one. <laughs> what the hell? Well, here you can have the other one. <laughs> I'm gonna get. You, got, oh, you don't have tongs or a knife. That's why I said a knife to split the split the lobster tail. Oh yeah. Here. Oh okay. Look at that. Split. All right. Just split it. Here you go. I'll give you the, Thank the big you. part. The big part. Nice. Look at that. Lobster tail. <laughs> lobster tail. Is it going to focus on lobster tail? <laughs> lobster tail. Come on. Lobster tail. There you go. Tail. Lobster tail. Piece of cool. no, uh, no shell cracker. Let the make do. No. You have to use your fork. Potato. Scalp. Mmm, good flavor in the sauce. That is good. It's a good scallop. It's a lot of butter too. Yeah, it is. Was it like two cups of butter? A crayfish in there. The crawfish. <laughs> crawfish. <laughs> Look at that. So if you want to get a little bit of this, you can just dip it in there. Dip it in the sauce. Oh yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot of butter in there. I'm not taking a lot of spice. I'm taking a lot of, a lot of butter. Oh, the spice comes after the butter. What do you think? Yeah, that's good. It's good. Oh, real good. Right, I'm gonna bring out the fork to kind of dig out the. the you gonna go lobster next? A little lobster. Mmm. Nice, firm, not overcooked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Real nice flavor. I'm trying to get mine out of here. Is this uh, your first time at this particular restaurant? This is. I've, uh, I have not heard of this. I remember the building it's in. Cause it was it was been like three different restaurants, but yeah, this is the first time I've been to Cook and Reel. All right, there you go. Dip it right in there. It might come out quite as easy. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. Oh yeah. Yep. That's it. That's good. You say you didn't like seafood. No, I didn't say I'm like seafood. I can't eat crab. I'm allergic to it. I'm not crab. I'm allergic to clams, and I'm not a big fan of crab. Other than that, you want to do? We gotta do a sushi mukbang. I'll, then I'll, then you talk some stuff right there. You know, why is it that you don't like crab? Well, I just a little little too salty. I don't know. Generally, I'm just I don't know. I'm just not a fan of crab meat. Lucky for you, we have some extra crab today. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I can't eat 
I didn't used to be allergic to clams, but I'm allergic to clams now, so. Oh, my bad. My bad, I said we got extra crab today. Crabs. Yo, these guys, okay. So the shells, not super tough for the crab legs. Shane likes right. crab. All right, so it's a little bit more difficult here. Probably because he had a few crabs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> There's a, little, there's a little crab leg. Not much meat in that one. Still good though. Let me see if I can score you some meat here. Score some meat. You could have cornered the cob though. Goddamn. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Yeah? Gross? I never said it's gross, just not my favorite thing for seafood. That didn't actually taste like much of anything. That's what I'm saying. Like, how are you going to write no. off crab all of a sudden? I'm not writing it off all of a sudden. I've just never been a fan. I think part of it, like, so there's a memory I have. When I was a little kid, I lived in Hawaii, and our neighbor, uh, his name was Alfred. He was um, Samoan. And <laughs> I remember one time, he brought a bag of, bag of crabs over to our house to like to give to my mom, and the bag tipped over, and the, the crabs were just running everywhere over the over the kitchen floor, and he just started smashing them. <laughs> Very traumatic for a little kid, like three years old. <laughs> I see them. like giant insects running across your kitchen floor, and a very large Samoan man crushing them. <laughs> just a bunch and of then English. I was like, oh, now you just eat them. <laughs> Jeff, if you're watching this, aloha, bra. I'm sure he's watching us eat. No, his, <laughs> my, my, his son, my, my buddy Jeff, who you call Scotty, lives on the West Coast. And when I tell him to watch it, he's going to say, what up, Ohana? I'm feeling his corn is a little mushy. Yeah? A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Mushy. For the overcooked, just but about like an hour. It probably sits, you know, it's probably not like they don't cook it on order. It's probably been sitting. Mm. This is a regular coin too, not even like sweet. No. All right. So how we do the crayfish? I forget. I haven't eaten one of these in a long time. We just snap the tail off. I think we snap the tail off and suck the suck the juices out of it, right? Yeah. This, this is a buffet down here in Bridgeport. That. Uh, yeah. That's crazy. Crayfish. That's the only place I know of in Connecticut. I think it's called Tapanyaki. Hit me, just rip the tail off, pull the meat out. Yeah, I should have probably dipped it just for oh, a little more flavor. There we go. Yeah, it's like little mini lobsters. Mm hmm. Are you supposed to suck the uh, inside then? Mm. I don't do that with lobsters either. I pull the tail like two to claws. I'm not a, I'm not a big lobster picker. You know, I don't like go into the body and pick up all the stuff. It's because. Yeah, I'm good. Let's do shrimp. Shrimp next. Shrimp is good. You got the shrimp ready? Yeah. Sorry, I forget we're making a video. I'm just sitting here eating. You know? <laughs> this is good shrimp because like you got a red lobster and they give you that, that frozen that frozen little baby shrimp. Yeah, that little popcorn shrimp. And it's like, it's got that frozen, like it's been freshly thawed. Mm -hmm. It's got a like watery feel, tasting. Yep. This could very well be frozen, but it tastes definitely more like that. Uh, well, in our in our area, you got so much fresh. I don't think they'd be. They're not like a big chain. They're mom and pop, so I would, I would assume they're not going to be doing a big frozen. Mm. Mm -hmm. a little scallop, dip, dip, dip. See like king king snow crab legs on the on the menu. The potatoes are cooked perfectly. I 
not even try it yet. They're very good. What kind of potatoes are these? Uh, red potatoes. Not baby reds, just reds. So you're gonna pull the, they still have the shell and the shrimp, so you're gonna pull that off. Dip that baby in there. Get it nice and coated. You cut your potatoes? Well, I don't have to. I'm just trying to use a fork. But... Mm, mm. It's good. Good shrimp. Potatoes are good. So all this together, I think we got like a half pound of crab, half pound of shrimp, half pound of... Um, scallops. Scallops, half pound of crawfish. And uh, they give they give you the um, corn and potatoes in there. All, all together was like sixty six bucks, plus whatever taxes. I think tax here in Connecticut is like six percent, so it was like seventy bucks, seventy thirty six or something like that. Seventy bucks. Not bad. Seafood dinner. It's a good amount of shrimp. Good amount of yeah, food. Yeah, absolutely. Mmm. Probably would be a little better if we ate there fresh, but yeah, a little ten minute drive. But this don't take too taste too different than what you would probably cook it at home, though. No, a little bit more butter than I use at home. <laughs> you like way more butter. What's that? Way more butter. Yeah. So if you got cholesterol issues. Yeah. Might not be the best. <laughs> Take your pills before you come. <laughs> yep. And of course, the ever present. Cerveza. To wash it all down. Today's uh, drink of choice is. Where is it? It's not coming in. <laughs> Today's drink of choice is Sam Adams Summer Ale. The camera's not smart to focus on all that at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So we're each only only sporting one glove. Okay. <laughs> yes, guy. Did you get all finish all those crab legs already? <laughs> There's a bunch in there. I think my crab legs is like so skinny and thin. Well, it's probably many, like shellfish. You yeah. don't know how much shell you're getting, how much meat you're getting. It's like when, they, <clears throat> when you buy it by the pound, it's like, of course, you have to measure it with the shell on. Mm -hmm. If you measure picked lobster or picked whatever, it's always way more expensive. Mm -hmm. I think uh, when you add the tail, the lobster tail, it's a. Uh, Extra eighteen bucks. Yo, we got like some bread or something like that. You can sop up some of that butter. Yo. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Nordic Lodge. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If we're gonna do, if we're gonna do much, man, we should definitely go back to Nordic Lodge, and, and yeah, I'll pay for that myself. Uh, I don't know what the price is. I don't know if it changed or not, but oh. I don't think Nordic Lodge is like. 100 bucks a person. I think it was 110 bucks when I checked last. Ah. So this place is an all-you-can-eat, like just, you know, lobster, steak, whatever, and it's all good. It's like just top-notch food. Back in the day, back in like the 80s when I was going, mm -hmm. it's like 25 bucks a head. <laughs> all-you-can-eat, no time limit. Now... Got it's like four times that much. Got a two hour time limit. Yeah, two hours. Bummer. Yeah. I know. That's all right. I mean, we can put away some lobster tails in two hours. God. First time I went there, uh, 1980. God, it had to be 86, 87. I put down. Two whole plates of peel and eat shrimp, two lobsters, 
four filet mignons, two pre two prime rib. Like we were there for, we were there for probably three hours. I think I would just eat lobster tails all day. Yeah, but I'm a meat eater. I mean, I, I love seafood and stuff, but I'm a meat eater. At least I was back then. Like you, you show me steak. That's could you uh, could you wear some cargo pants lined with Ziploc bags? <laughs> probably not. <laughs> I mean, we might be able to just slick, you know? But uh, I don't know what the market is. You know, I'm not really a big uh, post buffet take home fan. <laughs> they bring some shit home. <laughs> Dude, I have like a, a dozen tails in my pocket. The funny thing I had, there was a veteran guy at the buffet who gave me, a, gave me some tips. He goes, okay, first of all, don't eat any bread or any of the desserts. <laughs> drink water or if you want to buy wine or beer that's you know because that's not included but like they count on you eating salad and eating all this other stuff that takes away from the amount of lobster and steak that you can destroy mm -hmm. it's like oh that's a that's good thinking yeah, man I'll never get bread at the buffet I had a uh, I don't know if I told you a story but I had this friend that up in upstate New York in Kingston we had a uh a Chinese buffet up there. Yep. He went there once and spent eight hours there. Yikes! <laughs> he stayed there eight hours with his family. <laughs> they must have freaking killed him. And uh, they did eventually kick him out. Yeah, you guys been here for eight hours, man. <laughs> Let's be reasonable, shall we? That's like a full work day. Well, there's there's a comedian who used to go. He's like big, a big a fat guy. I forget what he was. I forget. I think he's still around, but he was like he, used, he. One of his big bits was go to a Chinese buffet. His name was Ralphie. Some Ralphie May, I think it was. <laughs> he had this thing where he'd like do this Asian voice, like "You've been here for hours. You leave now." <laughs> <laughs> Pardon my voice and cultural appropriation. <laughs> that wasn't a thing back then, or at least it wasn't. It was being done, but it wasn't like really brought to our attention. <laughs> Not fan this corn. Oh. No, a little, a little soggy. Mm -hmm. So after this, Shane's gonna make me some pork chops <laughs> and French fries. <laughs> <laughs> Good scallop. Yeah, scallops are good. The scallop and shrimp are fantastic. It's actually, big scallops. Look at that. Yeah, the good it's a nice size. size scallop. It's not like that baby shit you get at Red Lobster. The um, yeah, the only thing I can really kind of like say I wasn't like super enthused about was the, the corn, the condition the corn was in. A little, they want to keep that stuff like not in a heating tray or something. I don't know. I know it's tough. Corn is one of those things where you, mm -hmm. you overcook it and it's, it's like, yeah. The potatoes, the potatoes are perfect. Yeah, potatoes are good. And I think maybe um, you would have maybe got, like, you can't really say much about crab legs. I mean, you get what meat you get. You can't yeah. really control that. Food-wise, yeah. Two people mm -hmm. with okay appetites. Yeah. Be good. Or one person with a good appetite. I mean, I could probably eat just by myself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. can definitely eat by myself. We're trying to uh, watch our figures, so we decided to share this time around. Yep. He shouldn't want to spring for two $70 meals, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. I didn't like you that much. Yeah, right. Well, <laughs> back at you. Um, all right. I don't think there's any more scallops. So I think that, is that your crowd out or mine? I don't know. I've been putting my stuff over here, so. Oh, the way you look nice. My plate's nice and clean. His plate looks like a wrecking yard, <laughs> bowling yard. They make they sell hush puppies too. Could have got hush puppies. They dipped it in the, the butter. Nice. As long as they have clams, it clams in them. That's good. They have clams in them. You can be seeing all this, all this nice food. Back again. Is that all butter? Garlic? 
I wish there was like more to eat with the with the crawfish. Mm. That's why there's a place in Hartford that used to go. I was still even still there called uh, Black Eyed Sally's. Mm-hmm. But you get f- fried crawfish, which is like po- like popcorn. Oh mm-hmm. my god, it's ridiculous. So good. You just eat bowls and bowls of it. Popeyes used to make these little crawfish. Right. That's all done except for like if you want to scam through. Oh, what's this? What's scallop scallop Part of a scallop. Dibs. Oh. That sauce is good. Mm-hmm. Just, um, yeah, it is. It's spicy. It's spicy. Like, su- not super spicy. No, it's just good. But really buttery. Very buttery. So, <clears throat> later on, make sure your calendar's freed up. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mike. And don't be too far from the bathroom because that much butter is going to go right through you. <laughs> going slip, right, to slip right at you. <laughs> but that's uh, it. I, think, I don't think I have any more to eat in my. Uh, you got a potato. Let me finish up. My shell graveyard. Yeah. This is it. Look at this. <laughs> That's what I got left. See? Yeah, I'm all I'm all nice and clean. You trying to be neat. All right. So <laughs> on a scale from on a scale from z- one to nine, what would you rate Hook and Reel? Oh. As far as like flavor. Flavor wise. Everything. Easily eight and a half. Yeah. I don't. Nine's tough. Like any any yeah. kind of like end of the scale perfect. Yeah, I, it was it was an eight and a half, a little buttery for me personally. That's just a, you know my personal thing, but otherwise not really good flavor. Overall, what would you, you say? Overall for eight this meal, for for what you paid for it, and 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 you know, um, yeah, I think the only the only sort of little whiny complaint I had was ah, the coin's kind of soft, but other than that, <laughs> <laughs> other than that, yeah, I'd probably give this a solid eight eight and a half. Yeah, I would say I'd say it's about right. I'd give it like a good eight out of nine. Yeah. I mean, um, it was for all the food we got, it was like seventy bucks, which I think is fair because it's we got a lot of seafood here. If you were to buy this in a store, yeah, I mean, like just bucks those, just those shrimp alone, those, those were big. Those were big shrimp, and the scallops were nice too. Yeah, like legit size seafood all around. Like nice scallops, nice um, shrimp, crawfish. I'm pretty sure you could probably suck more more juice probably. out of that. If we were... It's more effort than I want to go to. <laughs> if they could have just given us, like, corfish tails, probably would have been happy with that. <laughs> uh, potatoes were good. Potatoes Nicely cooked. Yep. Uh, corn really sucked. <laughs> Very mushy. Not sweet corn. It's just, like, normal corn. That's why it's got an eight instead of eight and a half. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you guys could have gotten, like, a nine from us. Could have gotten a nine, but the corn... A little weak spot there, buddy. I like a little bit more crisp on my corn when I crunch it. I want, I want it to like crunch when I bite right. into my corn. Also, I have to say this: for for seventy bucks, you can give a little bit, like maybe four pieces of corn instead of two pieces of corn, and just to, you know, you could definitely, the, as far as the seafood goes, you're doing it by weight, so the amounts are fine. But yeah. for the accoutrement, all the, you can throw in some more corn, maybe some more potatoes, just to kind of round it out a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Uh, but overall, man, yeah, good eight. I liked everything about it. Solid, uh, solid choice. And I don't know if we can get seafood boils around here. It's not like big in Connecticut, right? Um, so no, like not really. There. I mean, like you, New Orleans type of thing. You got the like you got the odd restaurant here and there that'll do them, but like not like this. Like in a big bag, just hand you the thing. Yeah, dude, it's badass. I like it. I'm gonna go again for sure. Uh, this time, if I'm dropping seventy bucks for all this food, I'm probably gonna eat it by myself. Yeah, he's <laughs> not gonna invite me to this again. <laughs> not right. share it. <laughs> but yeah. But anyways, yo guys check out Hook and Reel. Uh if you Cheers. have one in your area. Much better than Real Lobster, I think. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, but if you live on the East Coast, anywhere from Maine to Chesapeake Bay, there is absolutely no reason for you to ever walk into a red lobster. <laughs> Not saying the food's bad. But you live on the East Coast, you have some of the best, if you live on any coast, West Coast, East Coast, you've got fresh, f- some of the best fish you could ever find. Why would you go to a Red Lobster? Don't do it. Just don't do it. Don't do it, man. <laughs> Wear your gloves, bring a lot of napkins, watch your cholesterol levels. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you guys again in the next Welcome video. Welcome back to Mukbang.